Right there. Come on up, Brock. Come on. Yeah. Great rep. Great rep. Come on. Five more like that, Chief. Come on. Doctors told Brock Mueller to get used to life in a wheelchair. Good thing for him, he refused to take that advice sitting down. Just really, in my mind, you know, kind of comes to fruition that I accomplished this feat that a lot of people never thought I would. And, and, uh, and it just makes me that much more confident every time that I walk from here to there. And he never would have done so without Mike Barwis, who trained Super Bowl and Stanley Cup winning athletes at his suburban Detroit gym. Barwis's proudest accomplishment, however, isn't working with those big name guys. It's helping Mueller take a single step and then some. It was here at this rural Ohio intersection that Mueller's life changed forever. A 90-year-old retired minister blew through a stop sign on Christmas Eve 2007, T-boning Mueller's SUV, killing his dad and his brother's girlfriend. Mueller was paralyzed from the waist down and told he'd never walk again. I had a lot of faith in God and I had a lot of faith in Brock, you know, and, and uh, I knew if those two were willing to do it, it would happen. And uh, Brock, uh, Brock said, heck with it, I'll come over and I'll work out. I kind of teased him a little at one point. I said, you want to you wanna walk or not? Mueller eagerly accepted that challenge. He drives 90 minutes each way, three days a week from his home in Ohio to work with Barwis, the former strength and conditioning coach for the West Virginia University and University of Michigan football teams under head coach Rich Rodriguez. Rodriguez invited Mueller to lead the Wolverines onto the field during their 2010 season opener. He did so, standing and touching the team's banner with the help of two canes. His brother, Elliot, a reserve offensive lineman, stood next to him that day. Uh, I can still remember um, before he went into surgery, the doctor you know, told him, you know, there's a 99% chance that you'll uh, never walk again. You know? He basically was telling him you're not going to. And I can still remember seeing his face as before surgery. He kind of shrugged it off and just kind of nodded and said, move on with whatever else you have to tell me. Um, and... And that's kind of the attitude he's kept, you know, from day one, that he's going to walk. This season, Elliot Mueller finally earned a starting spot on the line in his fifth year in the program. And Brock recently accomplished his goal of walking from one end of Barwis's gym to the other, 66 yards in all. Good job. Ah! And to get wall to wall is, all, you know, just a, it's a huge relief to me. And it was a huge source of pride for his mother, Shelly, who got to see Brock's big walk on video. Boy, he's doing so much better. There it is. <laughs> I knew that Brock would walk again. No matter how much doubt they fed us or told us. Aside from wanting to beat the odds, Mueller has been working toward another goal. He wants to be able to walk down the aisle at his wedding in December. You know, it's it's not just about me walking again, and it's not just about me, um, you know, getting healthier and, and being more fit or anything like that. And, you know, it's it's a lot of it's just about sharing that hope with other people because I've I've just been blessed with opportunity. One thing's for sure, no one should ever count him out again. Mike Householder, The Associated Press, Plymouth, Michigan.